Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. Reno Mokri, who is one of the praise singers or the cheerleaders of President Bola Metinuba administration, shared a video of a pastor in his uh, tweet X handle. The pastor prophesied that the Naira will fall to 2,500 Naira to the dollar. And Reno Mokri was making mockery of him because of the strengthening of the Naira in recent time. And he was saying, where is this Arise TV pastor that prophesied that the Naira will fall to 2,500 Naira to one dollar? And I put it to him that the man's prophecy was apt. In fact, the man was apt and even beyond apt. If Bola Metinubu had continued with his flotation of the Naira, remember, Bola Metinubu said he was making drastic economic reforms, in which he even said that he's supposed to be given an award by the Guinness Book of World Record. One of the reforms he brought in June was the flotation of the Naira. Now, that, ma that pastor's prophecy was apt. If Bola Metinubu has continued, had continued with the flotation of the Naira, the Naira would have fallen even beyond 2,500 Naira to over 3,000 Naira. They know it. They have gone back to their vomit. They have gone back to the defense of the Naira, the way MFL was doing it. Why did they abandon flotation? That is the question. The question to ask is not where the man's prophecy is not, didn't come true, that the man's prophecy didn't come true. The man's prophecy was about to come true until Bola Metribu changed gear. Why didn't he continue with the flotation of the Naira? Why didn't he continue with the flotation of the Naira? Flotation of the Naira means that demand and supply will determine the value of the Naira on, every, on a daily basis. What happened to it? Why is Kadosu directing BDS, selling dollars to them, telling them how to sell the percentage gain they should make? Is that what is obtainable in a floated currency? So the question is, why did Bola Metinubu abandon flotation and was hiding it from Nigerians? And they are pretending as if they have done any miracle that made Naira to fall from 1,900 Naira to the dollar to about 1,200 Naira to the dollar right now. What magic did they perform? They want to, people to clap for them. They were the one that drove Naira to almost 2,000 Naira to the dollar. And that was in line with the prediction of Bloomberg that that, that was even the real value of the Naira, 2,000 Naira to the dollar. That was the real value, according to Bloomberg, of the Naira, if you float the Naira. So Tinubu was floating the Naira, and he discovered that he cannot float the Naira. If he had continued with the flotation of the Naira, that prophet, that pastor, his prophecy would have even been beyond that 2,500 Naira. We would have been talking about by December, over 3,000 Naira to the dollar. So let nobody deceive Nigerians in thinking that there's a, a magic that Bola Metinubu had brought into stability in the Naira. He is doing what MFL have been doing. They are now protecting the Naira, guiding the Naira, the same way MFL was doing. So what have they done? So in fact, that pastor, that prophesied that was apt. He was apt. Because I, I, what is the essence of evil prophecy? It is to warn you, if Tinubu had continued with that, his flotation of the Naira, Nigerians would have seen what is happening by now. So let nobody deceive Nigerians by telling us that uh, there was some miracle that Kadusu did, that Tinubu did, that the Naira, now they are telling us we have so much dollars. Which dollars? Where did you get the dollars? Which dollars? The only thing that Naira is being guarded, the same way MFL was guarding it, the same thing that MFL saw in 2022, MFL told the World Bank and the IMF that Nigeria will never float its currency. 
Because if Nigeria floats its currency, the economy will collapse. MFL said it. MFL said it. And Bola Metinubo entered to please the West because of uncertainty about his uh, victory at that time. He just entered in May. By June, he announced the flotation of the Naira so that he will warm himself into the hearts of, of the of the authorities at the World Bank and IMF that he will float the Naira. And he floated it and he saw the consequences that a, an import-dependent country like Nigeria cannot float the Naira. An import-dependent country that is unproductive cannot defend the Naira, cannot, can, cannot float the Naira. The only thing that will save the Naira, even this one we are doing now, even this protection is, is not going to work for a lot. It's not sustainable. Anybody who thinks that Bola Metinubu's return to MFLA's process of protecting Naira will help the Naira in a long time or sustainable way is just wasting his time. Ureno Mokri can be singing the praises to justify his uh, appointment or whatever. But the truth remains that unless, in the words of uh, Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, unless we move this country from consumption to production, the value of the Naira will continue to be a challenge. Unless we move from consumption to production, we increase productivity in this country. We buy made in Nigeria goods. We drive made in Nigeria cars. We ride made in Nigeria airplanes. Unless we do that, Nigerian Naira will continue to have a challenge. We will continue to protect it until we are tired of protecting it. Bola Metinubu came. He wanted to show that the MFLA is, uh, don't know what he's doing. He wanted to show that Buhari them, they don't know what they are doing, that he's better than them. He floated the Naira. Look at where, where the Naira was under Bolame, under Buhari and the MFLA. Naira was exchanging at 460 Naira to the dollar at the import and the export window. At the black market, it was going for 700, 700 to 750 Naira to the dollars. To the dollar. Today, it's about Bola Metinubu took it from that position. To one thousand nine hundred and to two thousand dollars to the uh, to the, to one dollar, and then you, you, people think that they, they should be clapping for them for what? What did Kadosu do that Emefel had not done? They are doing the same thing, but they don't have the courage of their own conviction to tell Nigerians, look, we have stopped flotation of the naira. We, we fell in our flotation of the Naira. Now they are guiding the Naira, telling Biru the change how much they should sell. Haba, what kind of thing is that? That's no longer flotation. You are guiding the Naira. You are doing exactly the same thing you are accusing the MFL of doing. The same thing you accuse the, accuse the past administration of doing. That they are spending millions of dollars defending the Naira. That is what exactly what they are doing. If they had not continued, if they had continued with the flotation, the Naira would be itching towards 3,000 Naira to the dollar. So nobody can mock that prophet. The person that you can mock is Bola But Why did you leave the flotation? Why did you go back to your vomit? Why did you go back to your vomit? Why didn't you continue with the flotation? Since you think you know economies better than MFL. You know economies better than MFL. Why did you go back to MFLS defense of the Naira? Which is the only reason why we are seeing the, the semblance of stability in the foreign exchange market today. There's no other explanation. Bola Metinubu went back to his vomit and abandoned flotation of the Naira. Of course, in this channel we said it. No matter whatever they are dancing around with, Unless they cancel the flotation of the Naira, the Naira will reach 3,000 Naira to the dollar and even beyond. And they, I think they listened to Voice of Reason and they went back to the old way of protecting the Naira. So nobody can mock the prophet who said that Naira will get to 2,500 Naira. If you want to mock anybody, mock the president. Why did he abandon the flotation of the Naira.
he could have been let if he had stabilized Naira to this level under flotation without guidance without protection of the Naira if he had if he had allowed demand and supply to determine the value of the Naira on a daily basis and we are in this level we can clap for him but we know that, that they, they are no longer floating the Naira they have abandoned that project Naira is now well guarded Naira is being protected. They are, not, they are no longer talking about the demand and supply determining the value of the Naira. It is now Kodoso telling BDS, allocating dollars to them, telling them how much margin they should sell and how much margin they should buy. Is that what Bola Metinubu promised in June 2023 when he floated the Naira? So, Renault Mokri and those who are making noises about how the Naira is gaining ground should better go and talk to those who don't know what is going on. The fact is that that prophet, that pastor, is right. If that pastor, you could, you could where you will counter that pastor is that if Bona Metinibu had continued with the flotation of the Naira and the Naira was able to rebound was able to rebound and return to the value in which Buhari left it on May 28, 2023. Then you can say that let us clap for Bola Abedinibu and then you can then fault the prophet or the prophecy from the pastor. But for now, that pastor's prophecy is faultless because even I, who is not a pastor, by reason of analysis of what what it means to float the Naira, I can bet my bottom dollar that if Bola Metinibu did not abandon the flotation of the Naira, we'll be talking about 3,000 Naira to the dollar and more. That is it. You can take it to the bank, I tell you so. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you are among the you will be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.